This is the help video for element scheduling for the daily whiteboard. If you haven't already watched videos for like work calendars and adding jobs to a schedule, you probably want to start there first. Whiteboard is sort of something you want to look at after you've already scheduled jobs. Uh, but if you're here and you know what you're doing, welcome. The scheduling whiteboard is sort of your day-to-day -day tool to adjust, move, reschedule, reassign work. It's meant or designed to be very similar to the whiteboard that you might hang into the shop. Uh, each crew is listed here as a column across the top, and the jobs that are assigned to that crew are listed in order underneath the crew. Here beside each crew name, you'll see in brackets a number that indicates the, the default size of the crew. Not necessarily always the same size each day. You can always increase or decrease crew size on a given day if you're falling behind or, or um, getting ahead on a project, but the brackets will give you the default amount. Here at the top is going to give you the amount of time scheduled for this crew on each day. So for example, here I've only got four hours and 30 minutes worth of work scheduled for this crew. So the enhancement crew is only really busy for half a day. The install crew and the install crew B have nine hours worth of work scheduled for the day. Note the difference in man hours, but that's purely because of the, the size of the crew. Both are scheduled for nine crew hours per day. And if I scroll further, I'll see the Mo Crew A, Mo Crew B, Mo Crew C, and how much work each one of them has been scheduled. Mo Crew B is pretty full. Mo Crew C is definitely full. Mo Crew A has some capacity to do more work. We've really only got four hours and 59 minutes worth of work scheduled for them today, so I'd want to add some. So that's the top section of it. You also can adjust the date. So the date can go, you can either pick a date here by picking the calendar, or you can go forward and backward one day at a time using these buttons. The show button here will allow you to pick what crews you want to show. So if you're not responsible for a specific division, you don't have to always be looking at the crews. You can pick the crews that you need to see. And when you save it, it'll save it as a cookie in your browser. So that next time you come back, it's only going to show you the crews that you're used to looking at. Relative event sizes is kind of a handy tool. If you don't want to be looking at these little man hours, you can use relative event sizes on. And what that'll do is visually show me full day, full day, half a day. Not quite a full day, a little more than a full day. And as I go across, I can see that as well. So relative event sizes means this, the length of time you've scheduled each day for the job will be reflected on the whiteboard. So you can visually see whether they've got a full day schedule or not. If they're close to the bottom of the screen here, you know you've got the full day. If I want to just see a, a, a better overall picture, uh, you can turn that off. And then you can each job is exactly the same size in terms of these blocks. You can see all more job information with this pop. As part of this, obviously, you've got each crew as a column. Jobs indicate um, uh, there are, are blocks on this. There are blocks of tiles if you want to look at them. They're color coded by calendar. So the, the calendars that your jobs are are going to dictate what color they show up. That's why I have some here in purple. That's my construction calendar. And some here in green. That's my uh, maintenance calendar. If I had work that was scheduled for today but not yet assigned to a crew, it would show here in the unassigned column. And at that point, I can just drag and drop it. And the nice thing about this is you can reassign work to crews just by dragging and dropping work. For instance, if I thought Mo Crew B had too much and I wanted to give a little bit to Mo Crew A, I could just drag the Trent residence there, drag it over, and let it go. Now it's part of Mo Crew A. And if I don't like where it sits in the route, if I wanted to move it up or down again, I can just drag it up. And now Trent Residence is on the top, or drag it down one, and now Trent Residence is at the bottom. So you can move it around just by dragging and dropping. Um, this will work on iPad or any uh, tablet device as well. A couple other things you want to do on here on the bottom of the screen. So number one, you can optimize routes. So I showed you how to drag and drop Mo Crew A, but maybe instead of dragging and dropping, you'd like the computer to calculate what's the most efficient route or, or order that we should knock these jobs off of. So you can click Optimize Routes. You can pick what crew you want to optimize it for. It's only going to show me um, crews that have more than one site scheduled for that day. So I got Mo Crew A. You've got your start and your end. Now, by default, this will be your um, shop location, but you can change this if you need to. And then the sites that are scheduled for that crew. So if I hit Optimize Route, it's going to go out and calculate the best way to do that route. Now, in noticing my routes here, I've got uh, two from Ontario and one from Texas. So this will be a very interesting route if I look at the map. Um, but that's that's the route that's been planned, and there are the driving directions that will be calculated from that. Um, 
normally obviously you'd be in the same city that it was close to, but it will work no matter how big your route is. Save changes will apply that route. And it's also going to ask me if you have any future dates with these same jobs scheduled, it will apply this same route to all the other future dates with these same jobs. Do you want to go ahead and do that? If I click yes, it'll just look through in any other days where it has these jobs assigned to any crew, it'll put them in the correct order. So that they'll show up one, two, three, and I'll always have it the most efficient route. Always good to keep an eye on it. You may have done changes at some point, added jobs, subtracted jobs. Always good to keep an eye on it on like a weekly basis to make sure your routes are still efficient, uh, but it will do its best to, to look for patterns and say, okay, these six routes or these six sites are, are on this day. We're going to put it in the, in the right route. Reorder future will do the same thing. So I use the optimize routes to get the best route tool, but in the case where you've manually set the route because of a specific order that things need to be done, maybe you need to be at a specific site first thing in the morning. If you set a, um, a a series of jobs up manually to be a correct order and you want that order to be the same for the rest of the season, go ahead and just set it up, then click reorder future. Click the crew that you want to apply it to and say apply route. Once again, anytime it finds those four, five, six, however many jobs assigned to a crew in a given day, it will put them in the order that you've specified on this day. Crew daily is the report that you can hand crews. So you can do it for all crews, or I could break it down by a specific crew. I'll just do it for all for now. And what this will do is give each crew a daily report of where they're going. So the enhancement crew, I only had one job for it. Same thing with the next crew, which is the install A and the install B crew. There is still useful information on here. If you want to show job hours, it's going to show the total man hours estimated, the man hours they've used to date, the man hours they have remaining, and what their goal on it's um, on-site goal for crew hours. So this is not including drive time or unproductive time, how much time they should be on site. Uh, and if you've set notes, so you set a map for the job, this will show up as well. Here, for example, is my Mo Crew A. Now I've linked this job to a street map. So it's a PDF. I could even email this to the crew and they'd have a complete list of their jobs. They could click maps if I've set those up for the jobs and also showing them seasonal man hours, how many hours they've used, what they've got left, and what our goal is for today in terms of um, duration on site. Uh, once again, that doesn't include um, drive time, but that's going to include on site time. So they're going to know Danico office. We got two hours and 53 minutes of crew time to get in and out of that job today in order to get this done on schedule. And of course, their time tracking application will manage that time and show them some of those hours as well. So that's the crew daily report. The help button will launch these videos. Schedule job will allow me to add a new job to this schedule. So for example, if I wanted to schedule a construction job or a maintenance job for today, I could hit schedule job and bring that in. Add unscheduled will add an unscheduled route to this whiteboard. So if you haven't watched the unscheduled routes video, you better watch out. There's a lot of um, explaining to do about unscheduled routes. But in a nutshell, unscheduled routes are for things like snow and ice routes that we know we do but we don't know when we're going to do them because it depends on the weather so we could hit add unscheduled and then add a snow route to this uh, daily whiteboard in just a couple of seconds using that button and the last one saves our changes so if you've done anything manual you can save changes now the daily whiteboard it's really important to understand when i'm moving stuff around on the daily whiteboard it's only happening today so today in this case is monday december 15th if i'm dragging a um a, a job from Mo Crew A to Mo Crew B, that's only going to impact today. It's not going to impact the rest of this job schedule. Now that said, there is a way to do that. If I do want to change an entire job schedule, there's an edit visit button here. And we'll cover all the edit visit um, activities in a different video. But very quickly, if I wanted to permanently change the Danico office to a different schedule, whoops, I'm driving right now. If I wanted to permanently change the Danico office to a different crew schedule, I'm going to use the edit visit button. And what I can do then is go edit schedule and then I can do things like reassign the crew for all future visits. And that will allow me to reassign a crew for all visits. Just dragging and dropping on the whiteboard itself is only going to impact the current day that you're working. It's for day to day changes. If you want to make permanent changes to the job schedule, you want to use that edit visit button and you want to use the edit schedule tab on that 
to make some universal changes, either deleting all the visits or reassigning time or reassigning a different crew. If you want to do something to the entire job schedule, you're going to use that other visit link. But for day-to-day -day stuff, the whiteboard is, is a, a great quick and easy way to uh, assign work to crews and to double check what you've assigned and what's going to go on.